Well, Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be paying a three-day visit uh, to the United States of America beginning 21st of September to attend the annual Quad Summit and will be also addressing the Summit of the Future at the UN General Assembly. The Quad Group comprises of India, United States, Japan and Australia and the agenda this time of the meeting includes advancing development in the Indo-Pacific region and implementing sustainable development goals. The fourth Quad Summit scheduled for the 21st of September for the first time in Wellington in Delaware. This is the hometown of President Joe Biden. This marks the fourth Quad Leaders Summit. While India was originally scheduled to host this year's summit, it agreed to host the next one in 2025 following a request from the United States. Prime Minister Modi will also be meeting the Indian diaspora to strengthen the connection between India and its diaspora in New York, as the Prime Minister would also be interacting with CEOs of leading US-based companies to foster greater collaborations between the two countries. The Prime Minister will also then address the Summit of the Future at the United Nations General Assembly in New York, focusing on multilateral solutions for global challenges. The summit, which is themed at multilateral solutions for a better tomorrow, will be a key platform for addressing issues such as health security, climate change, emerging technologies and counter-terrorism. Quad's constructive agenda continues to develop. We continue to work on uh, development priorities uh, in the Indo-Pacific, in implementing sustainable development goals, delivering public goods, uh, strong focus uh, on peace, prosperity and stability uh, in the Indo-Pacific uh, region. Uh, our agenda covers uh, health security, climate change, critical and emerging technologies, uh, HADR infrastructure, connectivity, maritime security and uh, counterterrorism. Uh, and therefore this upcoming visit offers us uh, the quad leaders the opportunity to review uh, progress achieved uh, in the last one year and set the agenda for the uh, next year. Uh, this visit uh, combines uh, many aspects. Uh, it has a very important bilateral aspect to it, a very important plurilateral aspect to it, and an equally important multilateral uh, aspect to it. Uh, there will be interaction with a variety of uh, foreign uh, partners uh, at the level of the Prime Minister. Uh, there will be interaction with uh, the large uh, Indian diaspora uh, in the US. Uh, and uh, there will be uh, engagement with uh, a host of uh, business and industry uh, leaders, amongst others. हिंद प्रशांत क्षेत्र के लोगों के जीवन बेहतर बनाने के लिए काम कर रहे हैं प्रेसिडेंट बाइडेन ने इसलिए डेलवेर में ये बैठक मेज़बान करने का फैसला किया कि वो उनका अपना प्रदेश है और वो हर एक क्वाड के नेता के साथ कि उनके व्यक्तिगत संभव का महत्वपूर्ण देखाना चाहते थे सुचित्र जी आने वाले जॉइंट स्टेटमेंट में हम विविध क्षेत्र में सहयोगी काम के बारे में सुनेंगे well, the, the, the voice of Prime Minister Modi, the voice of India in diplomacy is a very loud one and a very important one. And I think we all share the goal to find an end to these conflicts in line with the Charter of the United Nations in, in line with international law and in line with the territorial integrity of nations. Rishab is with us. Rishab, good morning. The entire itinerary of the Prime Minister being laid out. And of course, uh, this would be uh, the one that uh, the President himself, that is uh, hosting the fourth Quad Summit, uh, would be the last one as he's not running for the President anymore. And about two months from uh, now, as far as the elections in the United States is concerned, this is going to be a unique visit as we are looking at the Prime Minister Narendra Modi being there in the United States. Well, definitely, Prime Minister Narendra Modi's visit to U.S. is significant. A, the Quad is finally happening. The Quad was expected to happen here in India, in New Delhi, back in January 2024. But uh, due to some uh, issues that could not happen, and since then, the Quad hasn't been able to come together to hold a leader le uh, level summit. But now, finally, the United States has, uh, start, uh, has agreed to host this uh, meeting in Delaware, where uh, President Joe Biden, who is an outgoing time, uh, president of the United States, has invited all the leaders 
at his home state in Wilmington in Delaware. Uh, so A, that is very, very important. B, uh, if we talk about Prime Minister's visit, definitely this is, a, this is the first visit after the ele election, after the Prime Minister secured the third term. So uh, meeting the Indian diaspora, and remember Indian diaspora plays a crucial role in, in uh, Indo-US relationship, be it strategic, be it comprehensive, or be it cultural relationship that both countries enjoy. Indian diaspora is an important link in that. Uh, apart from that, if we talk about bilateral, so we are given to understand that there will be bilaterals between India and US, India, Japan, India, Australia. These are a few bilaterals that have been confirmed uh, in a way, but there are important bilaterals which we can keep an eye on. There, there are uh, you know, reports doing rounds that Prime Minister might meet uh, Mohammed Yunus, the chief advisor of Indian government of Bangladesh. If that happens, it would be interesting to see what India and Bangladesh discuss. Hmm. Uh, apart from that, if we talk about uh, what else is on agenda, remember last time when Prime Minister visited uh, U.S. last year, there were a lot of MOUs, a lot of uh, letter of intent signed back then. Uh, it would be an in interesting uh, step to see whether India reviews it and ask U.S. to expedite all the exports that India is expecting from U.S. Right. So is there uh, a meeting on expected lines with the former President Donald Trump as well? As of now, you know, uh, MEA, uh, we did pose this question to the Foreign Secretary Vikram Mitri yesterday when uh, MEA held a press conference on this visit. MEA is not committed uh, to say that, yes, that meeting is happening. And if we talk about uh, the meeting uh, per se, if we see the three days when Prime Minister is in the United States, if you see the schedule of uh, Donald Trump, he is not very close to New York or Delaware. He is traveling uh, okay. in various parts of the United States for campaigning. And ME hasn't said uh, the only response that we got from the Health Ministry was that the meetings are being worked upon. So we'll have to wait on that front. Uh, India hasn't gotten though. So detailed uh, agnari there already. of the Prime Minister being shared. Rishabh continues to be with us because also while being in New York, uh, the Prime Minister will be addressing a gathering of Indian community there, the diaspora. He's also expected to interact with the CEOs of leading US-based companies to foster collaboration between between the two sides and talking about Indian nationals gathering from different parts of the United States all of them very enthusiastically waiting for the Prime Minister's arrival let's also listen into a few reactions coming in Prime Minister would be here in your country in two days I live in Seattle I work there uh, I've been super excited to see Modi to be honest he has done amazing work in India it has been amazing to see this man revolutionary uh, make India great again and I really love his um, aura and his energy when he comes and I would love to meet him. The fact that he's coming all the way from there to here is very, very exciting and I'm looking forward to him uh, enabling easier immigration for people here, the Indian diaspora making our lives easier with, you know, visas and being able to travel back to the world, bringing more um, investments back to India, more opportunities for students to come here to the US. So basically making it easier and easier day by day um, for both the countries. हम लोग जयपुर राजस्थान से हैं स्पेशली हम हमारे देश के प्रधानमंत्री जी आ रहे हैं उनसे स्पेशल विजिट मिलने के लिए उनके प्रोग्राम के लिए और उनको देखने के लिए हम लोग आए हैं मिलने के साथ के उनका प्रोग्राम भी है तीन दिन उनके प्रोग्राम में उनके साथ में रहेंगे well, uh, that has been as far as the Indian diaspora eagerly awaiting for the Prime Minister's arrival. Time Snow's team is already there in the United States. We'll be getting you up to speed when it comes to the entire coverage of the Prime Minister's visit to the United States of America. Let's in the meantime shift focus to more international updates this morning.